Hi, this is a quick unboxing review of the Tarot 150 that Gearbest sent me for a review. So let's open the box and see what we're getting inside. Inside, we get the, an instruction manual with the bands that we're going to use later to configure the video. We get an, also a diagram for all the connection of the quadcopter. A bag with accessories, which I'm going to open later. A bag with two set of propellers, four counterclockwise and four clockwise. And of course, we're getting the quadcopter itself. The quadcopter is very cute. It comes equipped with an FPV camera, fixed antenna for video, 6 ampere Tarot BLLE ESCs, and a 3800 kV motors from Tarot as well. The battery co connector is a JST connector, and it features a, an F3 flight controller on board. The propellers that we use are 3 inch propellers. The Tarot 150 comes without any receiver, so you'll have to buy your own and you can connect it with either PPM or PWM or SBAS. I'm going to use SBAS in order to buy it. Let's open the bag with all the accessories and see what we get inside. So, first of all, we get an strap for the battery, a USB adapter, which we're going to use to plug the quad computer. By the way, in order to connect the USB port, you will have to remove this filler and then you will have access to the USB port. It's a little bit of a design flow and I'm sure, I'm, I hope that Turret will, uh, next time they will release a quad computer similar to this one, will do it a little bit differently. In addition, we get an 8 screws for the propellers, a PWM connector, and we're getting also an SBAS or PPM connector, which I'm going to use with my X8R receiver. We're getting also two double-sided stickers, which you can use for a receiver, and landing pads, which you should stick on the bottom of the quadcopter. I would like to show you also my 130 quadcopter, which is also from Tarot, is almost identical to the 150. As you can see, it's almost the same. The 130 from Tarot is actually 135, so 15 millimeter of a difference. It's not that much of a difference. As far as I'm aware, there are only two differences. First of all is the size, and the second of all are, is the motors. The 130 has 4,000 kV motors, and the 150 has 3,800 kV motors. Besides that, all the other accessories and video transmitter are the same. The weight of the Tarot 150 without propellers and battery is almost 90 grams and if we add the propellers it's going to be 91.5 grams and if we add the battery it's 138, almost 140 grams so it's a pretty light quadcopter. The batteries that I'm using are Gen Ace 450 and these are 3 cells 30C batteries. The weight of the battery is around 50 grams. I have here the QX90 which I just recently reviewed so you can see how it is being compared to the Tarot 150. So the Tarot 150 is uh, almost double the size but these are not the same quadcopters. The Tarot 150 is not intended for indoor flight and I recommend only to fly outdoors because it's much much faster and also can cause more damage if you will fly it indoors. In order to connect my XSR receiver to the F3 flight controller, I will have to modify the cable. I will have to remove the green and yellow cable and then just connect it to the cable provided with the Tarot 150. And the end result will be a cable that will be connected in one side to the XSR and the other end will be connected to the flight controller. The far right input is the SBUS and next to it is the PPM. I'm going to use the SBUS because I'm using the XSR receiver. This is the end result of the cable, so one side will go to the XSR and the second one will go to the F3 flight controller. In order to bind Taranis to the XSR receiver, you'll have to define a new module on the Taranis, go to the settings, define the mode on D16, then press the bind, it will start beeping, then just plug the battery to the Tarot 150 while pressing and holding the failsafe button. After that, you are practically done and the XSR receiver will be bind to the Taranis. All you have to do, just disconnect the battery and you can see when I will plug it back, you will see the telemetry 
next to the battery indicator. In my opinion, the best way to connect the XSR a receiver to the frame is just by using a little bit of glue gun and it will be just fastened and you can still see some leftovers but it won't move around and it will be fine. In order to protect the XSR antennas, I recommend to put them inside the body in that manner. Setting up the video frequency is done by switching these switches. Our next step is to connect the Terra 150 to the clean flight and in order to do so we'll have to remove the pillar and then connect uh, the input to the USB and we'll connect it to the computer. As you can see the red light is on so it's indicating that the USB is connected. Then we'll just connect on clean flight and we'll be able to define the flight modes. That's all we have to do. The last step is just to put the propellers on and as you can see the Terra 150 is ready to fly. Here are some flying vi flight videos.